begin. Um, bum, 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 bum. I'm actually mostly prepared. I'm late, but I am mostly prepared. Welcome on in, everybody. Um, nails today. Gonna be getting rid of this lovely duochrome green from uh, Colors by Laroe that I have been rocking the past few days, and I think I'm going to put some jack-o'-lanterns on my nails. So, I'm going to start out with the usual beginning of stream things. Uh, quick tweet, quick discord, and the usual uh, reminder that you can join me live at uh, twitch.tv slash MSLP, or you can continue to hang out in the future on YouTube, My Simple Little Pleasures uh, is my nail art channel. So, there's the tweet. There is the Discord. Um, where's, where's my notifications and things? Okay. Can see what's happening. Can control the camera. Gonna have to peel this manicure off before we can do anything else of course well I could do some testing but I really don't think I'm gonna need to do very much testing I, I already have the idea that I have in mind hopefully it works if it doesn't work I mean that's gonna it's gonna be a problem but uh, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't work which one of these was I using as my ow ah knock the things over I feel like this is a nicer looking one but then it's got like a little bit of red polish on it and the edge isn't very nice well maybe I'll just make the edge a little bit nicer because I don't like the feeling of about to give myself a sliver around my cuticles with my orange stick so I'm just gonna buff the edges just a little bit there that's a little bit nicer and make it so like the tip is rounded and like not to a point like that hey amethyst Games and cookies, hello. Rach loves polish, hello. And a host from Basinji, and all of a sudden everything is happening at once. <laughs> Hi, guys. <clears throat> Welcome on in. I am a little bit hoarse. What else is new? It's like the reasons that I'm hoarse change, but the, the fact of me being hoarse never change is. <laughs> and thank you for taking care of the shout out, Amethyst. Um maybe get you guys in a little bit closer I'm gonna find find the edges and uh do a peel I've I mean this color I, I didn't get a polish in motion I didn't get any good outdoor pictures of this because there just was not opportunity to do so it sucks right here now hey Atlas we are just getting started um there's been no sun in Minnesota since I put this on my nails uh, so no opportunity to get like nice outdoor pictures that like capture the different personalities of this polish. Um, and there's been snow and that's like very sad, super sad. Like I'm kind of in denial. It didn't really stick around, but the fact that it was here at all, oh man, we just put this on a couple days ago. I hope we get a decent peel. Okay, there's the edge. Hey, yo. Three challenges, Amethyst? Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> I know, because as you go, you just... And, and I say this after having had a spreadsheet for like 10 years. You're always like, ooh, maybe I should track this on the spreadsheet. Or, you know, why wasn't I tracking this before? Or... Oh, I thought I had all the variations of colors that I really wanted or all the little, you know, all the fields or whatever. But now I realize that I should have changed something. Like, I'm I'm pretty proud of my spreadsheet. Although, like we've discussed before, it's not fully up to date. But I always am like, man, maybe I should, you know, change the way I'm doing this. Wearing each of your polishes and three a naked nail challenge for two weeks. Oh, that would be tough for me. Because I've just, I always have such bad experiences with naked nails. 
Unless I'm like literally doing nothing, like not leaving the house, not, you know, moving anything around, not cooking, like literally nothing. Otherwise my nails just are not very happy being naked. <laughs> yeah, except it's not November, Athelis. It's not even halfway through October yet. That's why it's sad. That's why it's so sad. I mean, and it's cold. It's like literally like we have a fucking wind chill and that wind chill is below freezing. No, it could, it could be so much worse. It will be so much worse. Fun fact. Like and not that long, but I thought I had, I thought I had a little bit more time, you know? Um, okay. So. <clears throat> Wait, did I, did I do my other hand? Oh yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, you guys are there. There we go. Don't want y'all to miss the peel porn. If we can get a good peel this time, last time the peel was so bad. Like it was so disappointing and janky. Oh, this one's ripping a little bit but like overall like not bad still like like at the cuticle area like have i changed how i've been applying am i ready for takeoff that i'm getting like this stronger adhesion near to my cuticle You waking up over there, Bean, or you just moving around? I heard you. I heard you, boy. Ooh, that these ones are coming off nicer. You see how they're, like, not ripping? Like, that's nice. Oh, I spoke too soon. But overall, right hand peeled way better than left hand. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I, I feel like I've had this feeling of, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name before, and I feel like I did it right, and now I can't remember if it's Gidgeza or Gidgeza. But thank you very much. Fourth raid. Welcome on in, everybody. We are just uh, having a little bit of peel porn. See, and I've got a lot of residue. Can you guys see? The residue that's left on here, this like sticky, where we didn't have like last week, we were having such weird, like it was stuck on there, but there was also like no residue. The second one. Okay, my God. What order did I say them in? Gaidegeza? That one? <laughs> I may have said them in the other order. Now I'm doubting myself. Um,. Giddy's and giddy. Okay. Okay. I can remember that. Maybe. Gidgeza. As in giddy. Giddy, 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 gidgeza. Okay. We shall, we shall see. St just tune in next time on Clinimus LP to see if I can remember. Mm. <laughs> if you start with the ice cream and hello, son. I didn't even see you pop in there, but thank you for shouting out Gidgeza. Gid is in Giddy. How many times do I need to repeat it to myself to actually remember? What is that? Sound? That was weird. Oh, it's you, tutorial camera. <laughs> it's making weird sounds. Ah. Uh. Laundry. Oh, tons of fun. Uh, so yeah, this is like the kind of stuff that peel off base coat leaves behind. Ew. 
Okay, you know what? Why don't you just turn off and be quiet for right now? <laughs> it was like the, I was hearing the the autofocus as I was moving around. But it was like constant. It was like, I don't know, rather bothersome. You know, Butt Spot has to play the field. He He picks a different person every day, but he does seem to pick you quite often, son. Ew. <laughs> the joys of peel off base coat. Maybe when Christine makes hers, there won't be this weird residue. Of course, I don't see everybody that uses ready for takeoff have this weird residue. I don't even have this weird residue every time. Just sometimes. <coughs> excuse me beanie oh why did i wake you up sir i'm sorry <laughs> son okay so like i thought about some of the stuff we had talked about last time when we were talking about like nail foils and halloween designs and I, I do not feel up to doing a, a strip placement manicure. So what I'm planning for today was the alternate idea. Uh, black background and then glowing orange jack-o'-lantern faces. Which, as we cannot stamp with the gel adhesive... Yes does mean I'm going to be trying to draw little tiny faces. So the question is... Questions. Are all the faces going to be the same face? The same face? Or like different faces? Or like the same face like looking in different directions? You know how like punk and eyeballs do? Or like... A, a selection you know like two three different kind of faces or like does every face have to be unique and like how many faces are we talking about here like am i putting faces on every single nail or do i want to do like you know ring finger thumb accent nails or like yeah you know mm, i don't know i would i would probably maybe actually get the image plate that I have out for inspiration. We're uh, we're doing nail foil jack o' lanterns, glowing jack o' lanterns. I also like. I think the gold, like like we were talking about using the orange for the strips or sticking with one of the uh, more smooth textured hollows for the strips which I kind of like the way that the smooth ones look but then that would have meant not having orange strips and I mean I'm sure the gold would have looked cool but uh hello please get off of here Peely I don't know I kind of wanted to use the orange but not in the strips. So I'm hoping that this turns out the way that I picture it. Okay. Got a little bit of acetone here. Just trying to get the rest of this cleaned up. Is this too close? Ooh, squinchy. <laughs> Sorry or you're welcome. I don't know. All right, thank you, Gidgeza, again, for the raid. I hope you sleep well, and, uh, yeah, hope we'll see you next time. Whoa, don't roll away. Actually, you know what? I should not. L let's not leave the bottle of acetone just sitting open on my desk. How about let's not do that? That would be, like, a super 200 IQ move there. I've got another... Like where I get the little 
the little peely areas. Ooh, come on camera. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes polish will get stuck in there. Some of this is still peel off residue. All nail polish remover really does is kind of dehydrate it, makes it a little bit easier to peel in some cases, but it doesn't actually remove it. Hey, LJ. Yeah, no, I'm just afraid of spilling it. And as fast as it evaporates, boy, it doesn't take spilling much to make quite a mess. And, like, not everything can withstand having acetone spilled on it. Mm. Okay, so... And tonight, actually, oh, I forgot, I had a really good stream title name, and then I went and, like, used a just generic stream title name. Well, real, really good. And I feel, I feel like I'm really low here, but I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm, I'm bending over. I'm working. Um, man, my nails look kind of crappy to me right now. They're getting a little bit longer. Like I don't hate the length right now, but they just look, I don't know. The stain is grown out to a point where, like, it looks weird and, I don't know. It's getting wintry and drier. So that's affecting my nails, too. I mean, if you're just getting here, I was talking about how it's been, it's been snowing. Nothing is sticking. Like, there was some buildup, like, on roofs and on, like, parked cars and stuff yesterday, but it's not sticking but like, dude, it's too early for that shit. It really is. I should look though. I should be grateful. I mean, they were talking about like inches of actual snow places more north. I should look and see how that actually worked out for them. All right. We are almost clean here. Yeah, that sounds nice. Get get a layer or something, maybe or even a blanket. Go sit out in the sun. Cause like in the summertime you can't really sit in the sun because it's fucking too hot. But like in the fall, like you can get in the sun and it's like nice. Okay, we need like one of my yeah, we'll use this one. This is a less serious nail implement than the big boy to try and get this last bit of residue off of here. Man, that is stubborn. Like super, super stubborn. Um, I I kinda I kinda went off track. I was gonna start talking about my title that I had been thinking about using that I didn't use. Yeah, God, my nails just look really dry. I've got all these like splits and stuff at the tip. Not like splits, but like peeling. Cuticles are fucked up. I'm sorry. Anybody that just came in with this kitten's house, I'm sorry you had to tune in and see that. <laughs> Thank you for the shout out, Amethyst. And uh, hello, kittens. Oh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Laundry's one of those things where it's like, if you're like kind of in a mood for it, it's not that bad, but it's never like the most fun thing ever. Well, it's, I mean, it's a chore. Of course, it's not fun, but you know. Yeah, boy, cuticles. You know what, let's give the cuticles a quick push with the... With the, with the big sharp boy. Schling! Just, I mean, you could kind of tell that this, this nail implement is, you know, not fully new. It's got some polish and stuff on it. Doesn't look too dangerous. Whereas this one, like, it's still so new and shiny. It's like a, like a surgical implement. Edges are all, all sharp and beveled and pointy. <laughs> hey, Nails Unchained. Welcome on in. 
I do need to also be mindful of this though because sometimes I have more problems with gel nails peeling I don't know sometimes you know you know we've we've had our ups and downs with Madame Glam peel off but like I literally cannot get even a few hours of wear out of a gel manicure with Unt as the base the ready for takeoff I'm sorry if I'm at like slightly weird angles here always be careful with metal tools I'm not gonna be like don't use them you're not a professional like I'm not a professional either but like just don't you know <laughs> I I do have like I I did a couple jack-o-lantern um nail arts in the past and one I remember really liking and one I remember kind of hating. Because um, one was like a cross. The one that I hated was like a cross multiple nails. Oh, I got sidetracked again. Tonight is race night. Is what I kept trying to get around to. So we can't go too late. But I will be back even later. After dinner break. Um... The one that I didn't like was like done across several nails. So, like each nail would just have like an eye or something like that. But it ended up looking just like weird and misproportional, misproportional, disproportional. And uh, yeah, I, I didn't really like it. The other one like was really cute, but like it's small. So it's kind of hard to like really get too fancy with the faces so I mean I'm thinking to do individual faces on each nail for sure because I just I would like that look more but that's I mean it is a separate challenge yeah well and I tend to slack too when I have a peel off base on because like it can impact your wear if you just like douse your nails in oil like, if you're having trouble peeling, that's one of the things. It's like, well, add a little bit of cuticle oil, rub it in there, and it, like, finds edges, and it just gets all in there, and it, you know, starts lifting it up. So, sometimes I don't maybe use as much as I would because I have a peel-off base on. So, that's another nice thing, like, when I um, have regular base coat breaks it's like just use as much nail art as you earn as much nail art as much nail oil as possibly you would like <clears throat> yeah having lotion is important too i mean lotion is i think just as important as cuticle oil too and even just like taking a minute to, even though they're looking non-ideal, like to, you know, push them back a little bit off your nail plate, your manicure will, will thank you for it. You'll notice the difference. I mean, I do. That's why I usually just do at least a quick, super quick. Attending to. I was trying to think of like an appropriate appropriate description yeah cuticles are like and sometimes like they just look dry and then then it's it's actually not just dry it's like actually dead skin that needs to come off oh man can i yeah like this one on the side here it always looks more dry because there's like it that's where I get the most hangnails there's like little hangnails practically starting there right now like compared to my other my other nails like this little spot right here is always just dry yeah son I've done that Ooh, got a little bit of green left over in there too I think maybe I'll push all these and then go back with the other the other tool. 
Yes. I I probably would too. I should have probably taken off the green manicure before I started stream. And then done like a Zoya, because I have like the Zoya sugar scrub. That's like my favorite sugar scrub. And that'll do like some of the cuticle exfoliating for you. I'm going to need the, uh, the nipper for a couple of these. And with the dry spots too, like the spots that are, like I was saying, they're, tr they're breeding grounds for, um, hangnails, but they're not actually a hangnail yet. Like the sugar scrub can kind of like buff that area where it's like not actually a hangnail that needs to be trimmed, but it can buff away some of that like dry dead skin. Mm -hmm. okay my stomach is growling and I apologize if you can hear it because I know sometimes you guys can if the mic is like at just the right angle or I don't know if my stomach is just loud enough I didn't think I was starving I mean I generally don't eat before stream on a Saturday that's for dinner break. Like lunch is not, lunch is not common for me. Just generally. Okay. Yeah, this is another really like dry area. I mean, you guys get to see it all. I mean, the camera's close enough that y'all are fully up in my business. <laughs> I try to keep it presentable, but you know, fall slash winter in Minnesota is not going to be kind to my hands because it never is. Okay, let's get this little part. Get a couple of these really bad areas with the nipper real quick. Chips. Yeah, yeah, sometimes my eczema will break out on my hands too, and it's it's kind of weird because it always takes me a minute to realize like what it is because I did not used to get breakouts on my hands uh, or my feet either, for that matter. It's really weird. It's like the spots that I'm more prone to breaking out have changed as I've gotten older. Such a pain in the butt. Ooh. Okay, you guys probably heard that. Maybe let okay, let's have a drink <laughs> to settle the tummy. Yeah, I'm I'm interested to hear like what kind of chips these are. Like are these some special chips? I got some chips that would go really perfect with like a sandwich or something, except I didn't go out earlier and get a sandwich to have. <laughs> Rip. I suppose I could, if I'm not like too late, I could go out in between streams. That just feels pretty unlikely. Yeah, God, this is so... Like, it's a hangnail. I can see that it's a hangnail. I can see that it's dead skin, but it's like so... At such a weird, awkward angle here. I don't know if I can get it even with the nipper. Ooh, yes, those are pretty good. The ones I got were some I had never had before, but I had heard good things about the brand, and then I was like, ooh. They have a, I think it's like an aged white cheddar. What are they called? Ms. Vicky's. Mmm. Farmhouse white cheddar. I'm like tempted to start snacking, but we're not going to do that. Uh, would recommend if you come across, whoa, come back here, nippers. 
if you come across those. Ooh, an Amazon package. Okay, Sun now has chips and... I would guess there's like at least 50-50 odds of that Amazon package possibly being nail mail. So, jealous? I'm gonna have to go to jelly school. Um... I'll I'll be back under camera soonish. Like sometimes too, you can almost use the very tip, like of the nippers where they're like pointed, like as a little tiny, super sharp tweezer. It's still really dry in there though. Like there's another little area I would like to snip just a tiny bit, but I just can't quite. I just can't quite get the angle. My usual warning, of course, like be super mindful with cuticle nippers and use them sparingly. But like sometimes there's just shit you have to cut off. I mean, if if you don't have any spots where there are uh, hangnails or like dry skin that you can't just get with a tool, like I'm jealous. No nail mail. Oh, the putties though. That I that's a pretty good one too. On a cork to put in bottles. Yeah, I'm on a no buy at least until I get this car situation sorted out. Because I don't know how much that's going to, like, cost me. This is also true, son. Especially, like, you know, make sure that there's room. Like, room to set a plate down in front of the dip. And then they use one hand to lift the lid and one hand with a spoon. I mean, that's the logical way to me. People are not always logical. Okay, we've like slightly, slightly improved these cuticles. Like super, super slightly. <laughs> we'll have to camouflage it all with good nail art. Or camouflage it all with bad nail art. In either case, you probably won't be looking at my cuticles. Okay. So, my stomach. Bean is so tuckered out. I'm surprised for Saturday. Yeah, use a sleepy, cozy, comfy kitty. Oh, yeah. What a good boy. Yeah, like, okay, you might not care about a double dip, but I care about a double dip. <laughs> Please do not double dip. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't uh, ask to be burritoed up in the blankets when I made the bed today. Because that's what he's been doing the past couple days. Like, he wants to be as warm and as cozy as possible. Or maybe it means that I finally managed to get it to a decent temperature in here. I guess, yeah, it's like 70 in here right now. So that's okay. Okay. Let me just, can I, oh my goodness. I can't just like sit here and fuck around with my cuticles for hours on end because I gotta get ready for race night, y'all. I need to uh, get out the LED lamp 
and the gel polishes. Well, I need to pick which gel polish. Probably Madame Glam, I think. Maybe. Mm. Okay, so peel off base. No wipe top and the black and then oh I actually do need to um, this no this mm. just, just need a minute I'll be right back I'm coming set these down. You know what? <clears throat> Let's just, okay. This is like the under the sea one. This is like the oil slick one. Not that one. Not that one. Also not that one. There's the orange. Chling! Oh wait, is the is that test strip in here where I did what did I do with that one I thought I kept that and I thought I kept it in there so it's not in there though and now I'm confused is it in here I'm sorry, is all this crashing just far too loud, baby? Like, I'm not... Yeah, it's not underneath there. Hmm. Remember the test I did, you guys, that was like... Um... Regular alcohol and 99% alcohol and uh, acetone comparison with the two brands comparison. I thought I had kept that. I must. I wouldn't have thrown that out. It must. I don't know why it's not in that box with the gel polish. Yeah, I'm trying to think what else. I mean, you wouldn't think that's that uncommon of a design. <laughs> he is a good heavy boy. The vet said he's just a little bit fat, like a pound fat. But like, I already like he was like, go home and look on the bag of food. And if you're feeding him for you know whatever his weight is feed him for whatever down a little bit is okay number one the bag has like ranges number two i'm already feeding him a range down from his weight he just he hunts a lot he eats a lot of fucking grasshoppers and i don't know what i can do about that <laughs> everything heavy regardless of how heavy it is excuse me I'm either burping or my stomach is growling. Okay, so the plan is we're going to do Madame Glam peel off. I I don't like gel polishes because I don't know. Do they separate like regular polishes do and we just can't see it because it's opaque? This isn't a gel, but like am I supposed to like roll gel polishes? Yeah, grasshoppers are like a lot of, I mean like big old big old big old grasshoppers all right so we're gonna do all this we're gonna do <sighs> i'm thinking for a minute here because the black is gonna leave a tacky layer it's not like really a powerful tacky layer i'm wondering if it's enough of a tacky layer to interfere with the gel adhesive 
like if I should remove the tacky layer and or do a top coat. Oh, it does separate. Hey, Ginger. Okay, so we'll just we'll just sit here and roll these for a couple little bit more. Just to be on the safe side. I mean, I understand why they're in opaque bottles. Like it, yeah. But I almost wish there was like, like they need like a little shade or something. Like you could roll it up and peek in there. Like a little, like a little flap in the label or something that led to like a little clear channel and you could just like bloop, bloop. I don't know. They try to kill you. No, what happened? I mean, they're, they're like, for a bug, they're aggressive. Like there was one time I was about to get in my car and there was like a grasshopper like on the driver's side, like the top of the door. And so like I look around and I'm like, man, and I get a stick and I like come at this grasshopper with a stick like, and he's like, like I'm pushing him and he's like pushing back. And I mean, obviously I'm stronger than a grasshopper, but I didn't think I would have to do more than like nudge it. And it would be like, okay, human, peace out. And like dip out, but no. Like he was really aggressive with me. This grasshopper was so, you know. <laughs> mm. Hey, music gal. Um, I'm gonna do jack-o'-lanterns with foil not the strip way but like drawing the faces way is the plan you happen to find a fly swatter in the car oh my god that's horrible son Yes. Oh, the what's this? The badge thingy. I'm like, what's we're doing nail art? The first, yes. Uh, first ten for affiliates and first twenty five for subscribers. Yeah. I got two founders badges. So let's before we do anything else. Um, let's get a lid. Um, clear lid will be fine. And let's get a little cup. Oh, Diddy, I missed that, son. Congratulations. Woo! Caters with the 10 month resub. Thank you so much for the support. Okay, um, let's make this smaller so that it's easier to use. Oh, sorry. It sounded like really loud. I just like, you know, because you don't need a cup that tall for alcohol of this variety. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think it's kind. Of, I think it's kind of a cool little thing. Um. Okay. So, like, I don't foresee needing a lot of this because we're only using this for the face portions. Um, where is the actual end of this? Right there. So like, why, this is like, okay, it's like literally like rolled up like spaghetti. Like, okay, here's the end, but the end is like coming from the middle and shit. Okay, now like realistically, like you could probably get like two to three call it three six nine ten and then some to be safe I'm gonna call that much enough for all my fingers hopefully 
Now, of course, you got to be careful with the stuff. Like, you don't want to crinkle it or damage it or anything because then, like, when you go to apply it, then it's weird. So I'm trying to just, like, carefully get it back in here. I, I don't... I mean, these were super cheap. I don't like the way they were packaged, but, I mean, I feel kind of like I can't complain. <laughs> For the price, I mean packaging is like a cost so like for them to not all have their own individual packages probably is like a huge part of the reason they're able to be so cheap okay <clears throat> um can we just set that by you Benny? <laughs> He's so chill today. Um, what kind of, what is our Q-tip situation over here? Sparse, but we don't need that many. Um, where is the 99% alcohol? Okay, I'm gonna pour this just over here because I don't want to like slosh all over the napkin if I'm messy. Like literally that's way too much. I only need like a tiny, tiny bit. I mean, it looks cute, but it's such a pain in the butt, like, getting them back in there. Like, even now, like, the orange one, it's it's pressing against, like, the divider in between it and the silver one. It's probably okay, because it's just one thin layer, but if you get it too much like that, I feel like that could leave a crease in the foil, which will, like, make it difficult to deal with. Like, they're all just in there... They're not just like rolled up in a little roll. They're like folded and looped in weird fashions. So that they're like, I don't know. Every time I've taken one out, getting it back in there is like kind of awkward. <clears throat> I think, you know, once the foils are gone, boy, what am I going to do with them then? They're such cute little containers. Like, I feel like I certainly will have to, I mean, when I use up all the foils, because that's, you know, obviously happening super soon. Um, but yeah, like, they've got, like, this nice little thing. They're fairly secure. Like, what little small... I, I mean, obviously, it seems like something nail art should go in here, but what? Hmm. I've got plenty of time to think about that. Yeah, and I mean, the foils and tubes are not, like, the easiest thing in the world either. Like, they have their downsides, but I think that's harder. Okay, so... Um... I definitely do want to, uh, clean this off. Because we determined that that helps. So... Okay, let's uh, zoom in a little closer, like, yeah. <clears throat> Glad I'm remembering to record this because I almost was just like, hey, let's just go. <clears throat> Before I get started, I am going to go ahead and clean off the back of this orange nail foil. Uh, cleaning off the back just helps it to adhere a little bit easier and to do that I'm using a little bit of 99% alcohol. You can see as I swipe it with a q-tip kind of just that haze that residue goes away and uh, after that it will be ready to use. Yeah so I feel like that's pretty good. I mean, it looks, it's so, I mean, it's so much brighter. I'm not going to try and go too much harder. And I didn't actually get a lot of residue like on the Q-tip. But uh, we'll let that dry now. Kind of just like make sure it's not still stuck on the lid. I might move it around just like a little bit. Okay, we'll stick that over here for right now. Thank you. 
This is true, son. I'm probably not that ambitious either. I didn't even roll the one I just used. All right, music gal. Okay. So, oh, still recording. Don't need to be doing that. I, I, you know what, you guys? I'm just diving right in on this. I'm gonna go look for one reference. See if I can find it real quick. God damn it, YouTube. I hate the studio beta so much. Oh, I forgot about that one. I hated that one. That's not what I'm looking for though. I think it's in here somewhere. Um, why is this like, okay, hold on. Okay, mute. Where are we going here? Yeah, there he is. Oh, he's only half a face. The fuck? That's why he was so cute. Hold on, I'm gonna show you guys. I just, I'm, I gotta find it on here. Yeah. So how does he look when he's done? No, come on. Oh my God. Why won't this thing fucking co-op? I'm like, I'm literally so over this God. You know what? In fact, Creator Studio Classic. gotta send my feedback and tell them how this shit sucks You're gonna, you're gonna see something in just a minute. Come on, come on. Oh, you didn't even, I hate you thing. Okay, hold on, here we go. There he is. Now, how do I show you guys him? Um, This one? This one, okay. Let's zoom in here, can we zoom? Now, isn't he cute, except he's only like half of a face. But, like, I think as far as going really small, like, the simpler that I keep it, the better. We were talking earlier about do we want to keep all the faces the same or do all the faces different? And I feel kind of like maybe we can have them looking slightly different angles, like, angles. Um, but... I think we want to keep it pretty small or keep keep it pretty simple. Mm, yeah. That's my thought on that. <clears throat> You're leaving for a bit is slightly delayed. Yeah, that was from the good God, was it 2013? I didn't even see that. That was a a that was a ridiculously ambitious tutorial for me at the time. I had a lot of fun with it, though, and I still fucking adore the Goodwill Halloween commercial. Goodwill Halloween. <laughs> if you don't know what the Goodwill Halloween commercial is, please, like, please do yourself a favor and Google it or YouTube it. <clears throat> I mean, there were some that it was like, but I mean, like overall, I was pretty proud of it. It was 10 different characters, different character on each nail. You guys want to see the, here, hold on. There's got to be a full shot at the end. Uh... So 
so we had the mummy, the pirate, the devil, the werewolf, the little goodwill face, and then the little pumpkin, the Frankenstein, the vampire, the witch, and the uh, like serial killer mask. Yeah. I like literally like there were so many notes for that. It was like, okay, for this face, I'm going to need this color, this color, this color, this color. Because they were all like they were all so different. Thank you, guys. I it was it was like a it was a labor of love. I mean, it kind of was, though. <laughs> I think they still use that commercial. I haven't seen it this year, but I saw it last year gonna go ahead and clean up my nails i should probably zoom you guys in acetone for the quick drying and evaporating properties you can also use alcohol for this like i even have alcohol out today would be the day to do it if i were going to but i don't know i use acetone and that's usually just fine I, there's only been like a handful of manicures where I've literally done like different design on every single nail. Like it's, it's different. It's harder in a lot of ways, even though it's just one nail each than doing like 10 different manicures because you're like trying to do so many things at once. Or maybe I just do it a foolish way, you know, like doing the base color for each nail all at the same time. So you got like 10 different base colors. I suppose you could just do one nail start to finish each. Okay, the sneeze may or may not come unexpectedly at any moment. Maybe I should turn this up a little bit. Let's, let's turn it up. I would, if I could get it up to like 72 or 73 in here, I think I'd be comfortable. <clears throat> yes yes and that also actually has one of my like favorite just little small things in the uh the snowman oh, i just remember being like thrilled to death with how that snowman turned out because he was so small but he just ended up so damn cute yeah, the dry time. Exactly. It's like, what? One nail at a time. No. No. Of course, maybe I just need to invest in that super glossy hollow taco, y'all. Word on the street is. It's really fucking good. I, I still haven't seen, and I haven't actually looked because I've been busy. I haven't seen any, like, comparisons like versus sesh beat versus uh, yeah i don't know you know glistening glow posh i don't know yeah usually i do i mean like my hoodie is right here on the chair but like when i'm doing nail art i prefer to like have it off because otherwise the sleeves get in the way and it gets bulky and it just feels like it gets in the way I think part of the, I mean, obviously I'm on the computer a lot, editing or streaming or, you know, sitting here doing nail art. So I'm not moving around a ton or this would probably be a perfectly like fine, comfortable temperature. Now you say cover it up and not repair it. Did you just like stick a bunch of rhinestones on there, Amethyst? A la Dino. <laughs> Everywhere in his dream. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's good or bad or just neither. It just is a thing. <laughs> mm. You you may regret it now, son, but I'm sure you will uh, be glad that you did it later? Question mark? Ooh, this is... She's a little bit gnarly. Let's uh, 
can you just come off of there yeah let's just clean this off just just a little bit oh yeah okay there we go much better much less janky and gnarly <laughs> just buy more hangers okay that's yeah that also is a solution okay let's itch our ear <clears throat> You like you're loose again why are you loose again there that's better I wish I had room for like I don't know a different kind of tripod or something like I'm well if wishes were fishes then all men would ride I don't have more room, but sometimes this setup is displeasing to me. Yeah, I keep most of my sweaters full. I've kind of gotten rid of most of my sweaters. Because sometimes it's just like they're too fucking hot. Like I would rather have like a long sleeved like this kind of a shirt and like a hoodie than like an actual like warm cozy sweater because I'm not gonna be warm and cozy I'm gonna be sweaty and 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 regretful <laughs> four tears I kind of want to redo my closet but there's so many other like projects that need to come before that but like both of my closets are so fucking crowded but they're also like weird sizes so finding like a decent like shelving sort of a unit because I was thinking like my jeans do my jeans really need to be hung like I like I liked it when it worked when I could find stuff and like get in there but now it's like okay we're gonna get started what time is it 4 12 this should be this should be fine we've got we've got plenty of time you guys <clears throat> Starting off with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Madame Glam's peel off base coat. You can use whichever you prefer. Okay, and Madame Glam likes to be thick. like the opposite of ready for takeoff <clears throat> so I'm trying to not like heavily glom but like have a more generous coat than I would with ready for takeoff which I really try to like minimize my application oh. and kind of the whoa didn't know you were still open kind of the same thing too with like a uh, leaving some gaps around the edges with the intent to kind of uh, like seal it in with the other layers the color and the top coat so that we don't have pop-offs happening oh I sh okay we'll do it before I paint my right hand I just just had a thought y'all what a what a fucking concept my brain having thoughts <clears throat> i don't know if that's loud okay because the uh, lamp is down here in the footrest please please stay open footrest ow fuck okay i didn't break a nail but like i literally almost broke a nail <laughs> Fucking A, just stay open. <sighs> like the, the lid of the footrest tried to close on my hand. But I'm gonna need to get this out so that we can, you know, do the whole curing thing. Whoa. Nail polish away. Don't worry about it, Bainey. We just need to make room for this here. I think it'll. 
I think it'll fit like right here. Yeah. And then I can just plug it in here. Should be fine. You working? You working? Yay! Oh, and this is still recording because I'm smart. <clears throat> Ooh, hanger talk. Hanger. I mean, there's so many different kinds of hangers. Yes, I, I can relate to that music gal. I, I, I kind of would prefer, I mean, it's, for me, it's also like a space thing. Like I don't have enough room to have all my interior, but that's one of the kind of reasons I want to do the, the cabochon part of the swatching project, because I feel like that'll help make the Helmer drawers more visual than just looking in there and seeing a bunch of identical caps to look in there and see like all cabochon rainbow colors. Like I was thinking about that the other day and I came up with like another quote unquote horrible dilemma, which is like, I thought I had decided like paint the bottoms. So then like the whole actual cabochon like acts like, like a top coat. But what about like my textured polishes and pixie dusts and mats and things like, do I still want to go on the bottom or do I want to do those on the top? so that their texture is obvious to see at a glimpse. If I do those on the top, then do I want to do the other ones on the top? Or is it okay if they're not fucking all the same? I mean, I don't know. Does it even matter? I'm sure either way would be fine, right? But like, I want to know which way is better. And my brain is like not answering me of like, I would prefer this. Like, I don't want to literally have to try it just to see how my brain reacts. Like, why can't, like, it's my brain. If I think about these options, why can't I be like, you know, I would definitely prefer it this way. Do you know what I mean? Like, I understand what each way would be. Why do I feel like I actually have to test it to know which one I would like? <clears throat> I do not do gel regularly and this this may or may not actually be a good idea because we haven't we haven't done any testing the last couple times I did foils uh like didn't go well but okay so the thing is I think this will be fine because we're just doing foils in a small area we're not trying to fuck around with full nail foils which somebody on YouTube suggested that like I cut the edges of the foil so that they can like flex but then I'm like I would have to do that differently for every nail because all my nails have like a different amount of curve to them, like curved this way and curved this way and curved like all the ways. <clears throat> yeah. It, yeah, exactly. It's a tough call, right? I just, I don't know. I feel like it shouldn't be that tough of a call. Like I can, I can visualize each clearly. Like I can picture a drawer of Helmer's with with the options as I've laid them out to you all. I think I definitely wouldn't want to do everything on the top. It would either be everything on the bottom, creating a false finish for those polishes that are not inherently glossy, or regular polishes on the bottom and matte and or textured polishes on the top. It's it's kind of one of those things where I'm like, oh, but I, you know, just, oh, I just. pros and cons each way, boy. I don't know. Yeah, this like the older house is the less like storage space you're gonna have. I actually have two closets in here because this used to be two rooms, so there's like the closet right there behind me. And then there's like another smaller closet over there. So this, this closet is actually all shirts and some of my dresses, some of the longer dresses are like hanging off the back of my drawer. And then the other closet is all like pants and skirts. And then of course, like above the 
hanging stuff, storage, like all that shoes. And the top of the other one is like a couple pants and then like all sweaters. That does make a little bit of sense, Amethyst. Ah, see that that's true. Or or would the inherent domedness of the cabochon already make it like that, even if it's on the bottom? Cause like like for example, like when we have like them in the bottle, and then like we have like this corner action. Like, which really, I mean, it's not a sharp corner in the body. You can see it's like a curved, slopey corner. So would would the the roundness of the cabochon top also create this sort of a, a refraction? Of course, we haven't even decided what size cabochons to use yet. So maybe I should do that first before I start worrying about all this other shit. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I mean, sometimes like new, new homes to me are kind of like cars as I've been looking at cars. It's like, this has so much shit I don't care about, but extra storage space I feel like is absolutely like a nice addition that new homes generally have. Um, so we're really just, we're going to move on to the black. This is the black, right? Yeah. Perfect black. And then probably I'll, I'll stick and finish one hand before I move on to the next hand. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Yeah. Oh, that's part of it, Amethyst. Yeah. Do I want to, do I want to get a, you know, let's say 12 millimeter for this top and 16 millimeter for this top? Or do I want to get all 12 millimeters and then larger tops just have an edge? Or do I want to get all 16 millimeters and then all smaller tops have an overlap? No, that wouldn't work well because then if there was an overlap, if the bottles were like next to each other, then their cabochons would be clinking. Okay, no overlap. But we could have smaller cabochons than the top, but really I'm leaning more towards sizing the cabochon to the top, which obviously is tons of extra work. Because why don't I need extra work on a project that's already insanity? <laughs> yeah. And sometimes it's like easy decisions like that. Like when I think about it, because you see like the way this, this bottle is shaped. If you had a cabochon that was sticking out the edges here, then they wouldn't, you know, stack next to each other here because they'd be clink, clink on the top. Yeah. Well, it, it's not going to... Most brands... Like, okay, We're, I'm going to get so sidetracked here, but like, you know, the idea is to like get most of my stuff put away. And then, I mean, there's not like every single size of cabochon. I think they usually go by like two millimeters. So, you know, find a suitable ish size, but then like, you know, go by all my brands and then like, you know, we'll see, we have, you know, what, five, 600 Zoyas. So, you know, I mean, the thing, there are like so many brands and there are so many brands where I just have like a handful, like less than less than two dozen, we'll say, of a brand. And it's like, well, I don't know if I really want to buy specifically sized cabochons for a brand that I only have a dozen polishes for or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm 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 go I'm going to have to I'm I'm leaning, like I said, more towards like really matching the cabochon to the lid size cuz I mean, that feels like it would be nicer, nicest. Ooh, I hope you like it, Ginger. Yo, if she is still in the chat, has used it and she liked it quite a bit. One day I will, one day I will have it. But today we're working with Madame Glam. How much does this cure for? Thirty seconds ish, but I'm was I I need to keep more notes between the Madame Glam and the Pink Jalac of which particular little quirks and problems I have with each brand. 
Because I remember, oh, camera, come on. I remember one brand I was kind of having, like, issues with the black, and we were talking about how blacks and whites are more difficult to cure, apparently. <clears throat> For my base color, I'm going to be using Madame Glam Perfect Black. I'm going to add a couple coats of that, curing in between each layer. Okay, we're being like so careful. You don't want gel on your skin because it hurts and because it can cause you to develop allergies. This is knowledge that has been shared with me that I shall now share with you. So I really try to be careful with the gel and you don't want to glom it like I have a tendency to want to glom polishes take shortcuts like you know want to make it opaque in one coat or like whatever like just don't <laughs> just don't because a thick glommed layer of gel polish will hurt like hell when you go to cure it Okay. And I am capping like the tips a bit. That should also help to hold on with the peel off base. Like I said, going slightly past the peel off base. I feel like the cuticle and definitely wrapping the tips. I feel like my nails are kind of too short right now to, uh, really attempt to do much with wrapping the side walls. So I'm not really trying to do that. And of course, like gel polish, you can fuck around with as long as you feel like. Make sure there's no bubbles or anything weird in there. Till you are ready to cure. Hey, two dudes. Mom. I Sometimes my brain is like, abbreviate the name like this, and then it like changes its mind 10 seconds later. Like, in fact, actually do not. Do not abbreviate it. <laughs> or abbreviate it gingerly. A little more potent, yeah. Now you will be RB. All right, music gal. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna... I might, I might give it a little bit of extra care on the second coat. I, I just remembered too that I hadn't decided if I was uh, wiping the tacky layer or doing a, doing a layer of top coat or just ignoring it. Yeah, this is pretty nice and opaque black in two coats, so. You don't have to worry too much about, like, wanting to overglom it to get it fully opaque, because it's not really necessary. Yeah, it seems like there's been less fanfare for the the glossy tacos than the hollow tacos, which I mean I guess is understandable. I'm really looking forward to the base coat releases. Okay, got a little bit of an oopsie there. Mm. And a little bubble there. I always try to get the bubbles out because those can do weird things. 
Okay, so... I think I got a little bit there, too. Or was that the first time, and is that already cured? Oops! Whoopsie! Alright, it's pretty good. No, pancakes! We're gonna put this on top of it. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and draw little jack-o'-lantern faces and then that's gonna make them look like they're glowing is the plan is the plan <laughs> can this be a successful plan I don't know yeah has there been any more discussion while I was gone we're gonna do some uh, open world <laughs> I think I think the open world actually sounds kind of cool pancakes. But I don't know if you already had something else in mind. Okay. Like I they still smell a little bit, which to me kind of is a sign that they're maybe undercured. I'm going to stick them in there for like 10 more seconds. Nice ginger. Um, I forgot I forgot to keep counting. I know there was one review like on Twitter where it was like I could wipe my ass. <laughs> okay, so we need a little small lid. This lid seems tiny. mouse for cats video is this like a real thing or is it like a real game that you have just discovered that the cats like <sighs> okay you guys we're gonna try like my idea is simple 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 faces and then if i decide i want to like give them eyeballs or something like go back with the black after i've done After I've done the, uh, what do, what do I want to use here? After I've done the uh, foil, like how, how much of a hassle is this going to be to wipe off the tacky layer? This is not something that I usually do. Like, I feel like probably Q-tip is not good cause it's like full of fuzz. So maybe like a little piece of paper towel. I mean, I know usually they have like those lintless wipes, like lintless alcohol wipes. It's a new setting, Pancakes, and the latest rando update. Basically, you start at the City of Tears fountain with five items. I put a, I put a clip in the, uh, I don't know, in one of the channels, like showing the beginning of the one that Zeph started. No. The only reason I'm considering it is because sometimes in some tests it's been sticky enough to cling to the foil. And I don't want the foil to cling to the tacky layer. I just want the the foil to cling to the uh the gel adhesive. They squeak when they're in. <laughs> That's great. We you know what? We're just going to go for it. We're just, we're just going to go for it. What the hell? <clears throat> Sometimes nail foils can stick to the tacky layer. So I'm actually going to try and remove the tacky layer before I move on to the gel adhesive. I'm going to take some of the alcohol that I had out earlier for cleaning the foil and just a small piece of paper towel because I don't think this should give me too much lint. And I'm just going to wipe off that tacky layer. This isn't something I normally do, so I hope I'm doing it right-ish. Um, and then once I finish this, I'm going to take my gel adhesive 
and draw some small faces onto my nail. I mean, is that it? Is that all? I guess. Like, I don't really have very much more residue coming off. I mean, they're looking kind of matte and weird, but that'll be fixed once I do top coat, right? I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I haven't checked since I started streaming. Nobody had responded to the clip I posted. A couple people said that it sounded like it might be fun. It's so funny. Why are you laughing at me, Ash? Ash, I don't know. Did you look at the video I posted about open world? What'd you think? You know what? I'll probably too. Let's do it right now. Um, I'm just going to cut this into like more manageable sizes like that. Okay. I hope this goes well, you guys. I've got a small lid that I'll be using here and my Miss Cheering gel adhesive. I'm going to put out just a small amount of that. Since it's gel, you don't really have to worry about it drying out as you're working. And then I've got a small brush. I may even actually, I've got a smaller brush. Maybe that one would be better. I'm switching to that one. I've decided. And we're going to be drawing little jack-o'-lantern faces on each nail. I'm going to try and keep them fairly simple. So like triangle eyes, nose, and then a mouth, and then I'll be curing this. Okay, so, oh goodness. I don't like that. If you mess up, you can wipe it away with a little bit more alcohol. And then I think try and let that alcohol evaporate before you go back and start repainting there there will be mess ups today y'all maybe we'll try and go i mean we want like an eye here here a nose and then a mouth so Can I just, I mean, it's okay if it's a little messy, right? Cause I mean, who, who really has those carving skills like food network type of shit? And we can touch it up with black when we're done. Can you guys see? You guys can kind of see gonna try and do that same thing like with marking where I want to go One, two, nose mouth all right oh I don't know about this you guys probably should have tested it first hmm <laughs> Probably should have tested it first. Okay. Eyeball. Eyeball. Nose. Mouth. <laughs> I mean, I could just do some kind of weird little smiley faces too, but I'm trying to keep them jack-o'-lantern-y it 
and like at least somewhat balanced on the nail. Like, I can't get them perfectly, but... Whoa. I have a feeling I'm going to be doing lots of cleanup. Hmm. Well, we'll see in a minute, you guys. See this nail, I can kind of tell I didn't quite get the tacky layer all the way at the top. Eyeball, eyeball, nose, mouth. And with this adhesive too, it's like I don't want a thick layer because it gets hot as fuck. I don't want a thin layer because sometimes then it like seems to almost separate as it's caring and you don't get super good adhesion. Oh my goodness. Okay, almost you guys. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay. 60 second cure. Cross your fingers, you guys. Cool but weird as fuck. Yeah. I mean, I think if you'd given it a little more time, you could have done it, Ash. You, once you get to the second phase, there's lots of room to heal. I mean, there's even room to heal in the first phase. It's just, it's it's a lot monk ass. <laughs> Sounds like some shit I would not want to get involved with, son. Yeah, I enjoyed watching it. I was kind of sad that I wasn't home in time to join, but I had a, I had a lot of fun watching it. Okay. I feel like like they've all got kind of big eyes except for the ring finger. Well, well, we'll see in a minute here. <clears throat> I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. <clears throat> Once the gel adhesive is cured, it's sticky, and you can start applying the foil. I think I'm kind of going to try to go one feature at a time or maybe the mouth and then the eyes and nose together just to well I don't know we'll see how this goes basically so I'm gonna stick that on there buff it with a q-tip and then once it's adhered can pull it off and hey there's a the little mouth now we have a little mouth shaped hole in our foil, I'm going to line up the eyes and nose in a solid area, press it down again, buff it on again, and there's the eyes and nose. And you know, they're not the neatest, but I think we can work with this. I'm going to do the other nails. And then I think I'm going to go back and do a little bit of cleanup with black polish. Okay, you guys, this is, this is actually working out okay. <laughs> Woo! Whoa, careful. So, I'm happy with this so far.
Mm. I probably even could do a whole face at a time. <laughs> this is so, I don't, you know, I don't know. I thought that I could get like, I don't know, more use out of the foil if I lined them up a little bit differently because the faces like all taken all together are kind of large. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is so weird. I like it, but it's weird. This one's going to have a really weird looking face, I think, you guys. You know, it's not that bad. <laughs> I mean, it's got the vibe that I want. I don't know if I'm going to say, whoa, it's 100% a success. But it definitely, it's capturing the vibe. <laughs> ah. Okay. And I mean, it's much more, or maybe I should say much less frustrating than uh, trying to get full nail transfers. What do you guys think? These guys are, these guys are pretty funny. Like there's a little spot that got missed right there. I mean, I'm just a couple little places that I see that look like they're need a little bit of extra foil. I haven't looked at chat. What do you guys think? Now I'm like nervous to look at chat. Are these absurd or are they cute? <laughs> I mean, like they're not that bad. I mean, they're a little wonky. We'll fix it. Yeah, she'd be quiet. <clears throat> okay, so. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's uh, get a little bit of black here. Yeah, they're cute. <laughs> obnoxiously adorable thank you sparkly we'll, they'll be even better i hope after cleanup like i hope the cleanup doesn't make them look weird i hope i'm not like well i shouldn't have done that but we're gonna see in a minute here because i mean that 100 percent could happen so i think these turned out pretty good the foil transfer went well and now I'm going to put out just a little bit of the... Oh, no, that's not the black polish. Shit, that's the clear. Where's the black? Where's the black polish? Oh, it's right there. No, the matte is just a side effect of uh, wiping off the tacky layer. They should go back glossy once we do top coat. They're going to be, they're going to be fully shiny. <clears throat> All right, let's try again. So I'm pretty pleased with how these turned out, but I think we can clean up the faces just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead again with my lid and put out a little bit of black polish. And I'm just going to touch up around the edges and maybe add some teeth to some of the mouths. So like... We can make them more, more like more square or more straight edges. It's like with the carefully 
carefulness. Can you guys see how those triangles are a little cleaner now? Do you guys want to be even closer? Ooh, there's like a little bit of a fuzz right there. Might be a, a stray from the Q-tip. Maybe we'll just paint right over that. All right, and then let's like give them a little tooth and a little tooth on the bottom. And then maybe like clean up his smile over here. There. I know it's a little hard to, t to see now because the, the black I'm painting on is uh, like glossy and then there's like the hollow and then there's like the matte. But I think this is going pretty good. Yeah. And this is another example. It, this this is kind of like when we paint and then we come back with the cleanup brush and we make sure our cuticles are smooth and all that. Like it's little small things, but then like they really pay off overall with the manicure. Because, like, now these are triangles instead of just, like, blobs. We'll give you a couple teeth. And, like, make sure that the mouth looks like... I mean, these are ha happy jack-o'-lanterns. I mean, we're not trying to make, like, super spooky type of things. They're intended to be cute. Okay. I always have been kind of starting, I'm like realizing I actually do have like a method to my madness here, by evening off the eyeballs, or trying to. So like a straight bottom for both of the triangle eyeballs that are uh, level with each other. Like that. And then kind of like clean up the top points like even even if they had a good shape like making them more symmetrical on the little face that I have going on here like that All right, LJ, thanks for popping in. Enjoy the enjoy your husband and the game. Okay, that I, I didn't mean that like it sounded. I literally realized as I was saying it. I mean, only well wishes, not pervy wishes. <laughs> In some cases, like I can see where the bull, where the black is not fully opaque hey ref thank you so much for the twitch prime sub two months of support uh oh connecting to chat internet uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh hello i don't know if stream is still live I don't know. OBS disconnected, reconnecting. Um, okay, hold on, you guys. Hold on. <sighs> hmm. Ah, are we back? Oh, 
Okay, that's that's the first time that's ever happened to me, you guys. I don't know what caused it. Um, I'm not sure exactly when it cut off for you or when it came back. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Like, I saw ref resub. I don't even know if you heard me say thank you, but thank you. And then I looked at chat and it said disconnected, reconnecting. And then I looked at OBS and it said zero KBS. And then it said disconnecting, reconnecting. And then I had a small heart attack because it still said I was streaming, but just like zero. And it didn't even say dropped frames. It just said that like it was disconnected. No, I don't. It was a coincidence. I literally don't know. I've never had that happen. Maybe my internet hiccuped because it was the chat and OPS. I I really don't know you guys, but I'm really glad that I'm back. I would be so sad. Um Yeah, if you if you guys do, if anybody still cannot see me, somebody in chat please suggest that they uh refresh. Would be good. Oops. And I'm going to try and I'm going to try and finish this uh, corrective, this corrective surgery on my, on my jack-o'-lanterns. And uh, then we'll stick these in the, uh, in the lamp real quick. Um, that like totally threw me off. Anybody that streams, you know that feeling when you see something wrong with your stream and you just, you don't know how to fix it. For a minute, I thought I maybe was going to have to restart OBS. So I'm really glad that that didn't happen. Probably this is going to fuck with my VOD. Maybe not, but I'm guessing I might have to ditch this VOD. Which is always a hassle because I hate like directly uploading streams to YouTube because it takes years. Uh, but I do have a local recording, so there. I mean, that's that's a good thing. Uh, yes, Ginger. I think stencils would work out pretty well. I don't have any, like, jack-o'-lantern stencils. But that is another thing that I've, like, considered doing with, uh, foils. Like, I was really on that search to get the nice, simple, full nail foil application nailed. But it's difficult, and I mean, I think this shows, if nothing else, that there are, like, other fun things you can do with foils if they're frustrating you in one application. Okay, this, you know... God. How do you, how do you un-adrenaline yourself when something like that happens? I just don't even know. Like, as a streamer, it's just, like, it's so... Technical difficulties are so panicking panic inducing I should say can I maybe put a tooth right there yeah let's stick a tooth right there and maybe one like um here almost running out of polish but I'm almost done with cleanup so I don't really want to put any more out I I think I'm gonna stop I, I like I could sit here and continue messing with these for sure mm. okay let's uh how much does this cure 30 30 seconds cure this <laughs> all right then we're gonna do top coat and then we're gonna see how this all looks hopefully the answer is phenomenal let me close these ones i'm not working with right now anyway i'm just i'm just glad that it fixed itself because like you have this instinct to uh kind of like just start pushing buttons trying to fix things I mean, there's, there's some, there's some character to these faces. Let's see. I'm, I'm hoping top coat smooths everything out. Oh, that's black. That's top coat. <clears throat> Moment of truth. 
<clears throat> I've cured all my little touch-ups and now I'm gonna go in with Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Coat and I'm thinking and hoping that this should smooth everything out. I'm gonna add a layer of that and then cure. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Ooh, y'all. It's happening. The jack-o'-lantern dream is being realized. I felt very tentative about this because you guys know that I am a huge proponent of uh, testing things. And I was like, I don't... I don't really want to test this. I just kind of want to, I want to dive in and do it. So I'm really glad that it worked. <laughs> and I feel like, like this could be like, I don't know. I could easily get hooked on doing things. Like imagine like just like some cool kind of like random -y swirly designs with some kind of foil over top. I think there's lots of lots of applications for this and oops there's a fur there's a hair get out of there probably a beanie hair all right so like I said making sure everything is smooth before you stick it back in the uh, lamp no bubbles, no weird uh, ripples or stuff. Because we got like several levels of stuff going on here now. But you can see we've got like a smooth finish there. Um, we've got the initial 30, 60. <sighs> hotsy, hotsy, hotsy. 30 seconds. Uh, just, just warm actually, not that bad. We've got the initial layer of color. We've got the... Uh, the layer of gel adhesive and the foil and then we've got the correction layer and then the top coat smoothing everything out hey Wesker <clears throat> nice ginger welcome back music gal camera camera please camera okay you get upside down faces can we get right side up faces? <gasps> They're adorable. Ah, it's so good. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is so good. <gasps> okay. I was ready for it to fail. Can you tell? <laughs> yes, exactly. That was what I wanted. Like, yeah. I, okay. I, and I do feel like the ring finger kind of got like little eyeballs, but it's fine. Like they don't look janky they just all look like somebody else carved them i decided to i was also thinking about I, and did i mention this like you know how you carve it and there's like the little loop for like eyeball i considered getting a dotting tool and adding little eyeball bloops but then i decided that like i wanted as much foil kind of as possible we got a couple teeths teeths in there in the mouths but we didn't go with eyeballs or nostrils just to preserve like a lot of that depth because this foil is so pretty i mean it's one of those things where i hesitate to call it hollow but it's kind of hollow you, it's just not like drastically hollow like it would be if it was silver like you can get all the colors if you get the good angles going oops and if it's not sliding around mm. thank you angie yeah Whew. okay so we have uh six nails to go oh we glued ourselves together here be mindful now stuff like this is not good number one because you know i got it on my skin number two it's because now there's like this this thing here and it's like what do i do with that i think i'm gonna try to file it yeah, hand number two and thumbs. Exactly. Well, 
I guess one of the thumbs is a part of hand too. There. That's a little better. You guys can see I just kind of... But you don't want to go too far or otherwise you'll like, you know, you'll expose the peel off and, you know, this could be a place where water could get in where the whole thing may pop off and fail. Better to just be neat in the first place, but man, you guys know I got a problem with the chubby side walls. And honestly, like... I'm not the best with gel. When is the last time we even messed around with gel? Last time we messed around with foils. It was a while ago. You have to butt it. <laughs> butt spot, I'm pretty sure that's your answer to everything. Just butt it. Just butt. Well, we did, we did some foils like in July, but before that it might have been Christmas. Because we did, we had a couple semi, semi success, semi fails. We had the, uh, the patriotic ones, which were a fail, but like they were a fail that I ended up liking how they turned out. Um, we had the gold, which like was almost fully successful until it wasn't. Like the top coat kind of fucked up that one. And then we had... I feel like we had one more that we actually did and then we had one that we started doing and I literally had to stop the whole manicure because it fucked. Just like everything just started going wrong. That one with the gradient foils. But I think all those were at least like a month or so ago. Like I said, I remember at least the one was in early part of July, if not end of June, because it was patriotic. It was red white and blue well red silver and blue oh. could also use like a acetone or alcohol to clean this up but I just usually go ahead and use my orange stick and try to be neat wow these are so cute you guys <gasps> Sometimes it's so fun to like surprise myself with a with a good manicure. Like I was ready for the faces to just be like janky. Especially cuz like my nails are short, but actually like I think this length is a pretty good length for the jack-o-lanterns cuz like if my nails were longer, then their faces would seem kind of like long and stretched out. Cuz it's not like my nails are going to get wider as they get longer. And I mean, I feel like the faces are, quotes here, proportional-ish. Like I wouldn't, I, I don't think I need my nails that much longer. No, oh, thank you, Musical. yes. Um, it seems to have, I mean like this, I don't feel like this looks dulled at all. Oh, camera, you were almost good there. Please. Come on, you, you almost did it. That still doesn't feel like really good focus, but you can see it's like the depth is still there. There's not any like wrinkling or, or places where it feels like the top coat like got under it and exposed the base coat really. There's a couple places where I maybe could have, and, and I thought about it kind of after the fact, fairy thank you for the bits and tex hello um i maybe should have got out my silicone tools because there were a couple places where i got like q-tip fuzz on it as i was like and maybe i could fix that on my second hand by just like not trying to do the face in two applications we are uh, we're working on jack-o-lantern faces and they turned out so cute and i'm kind of surprised and i'm really happy about it so welcome on in you guys okay that's weird look at that little weird some kind of like did i bump this before i cured it or did the curing like wrinkle it well i guess we'll see if it if we can cover it up and fix it i don't know what happened right there you guys I, I didn't see that it see even like with this over it it's like wrinkly weird yeah or it looks like if you like 
half partially dry quick dry top coat that softened the polish under it and you like bump it against something but I've never had that happen with gel weird all right still doing pretty good at keeping it keeping it nice and even <clears throat> yes that's you know that's the problem though with trying to work with unintentional stuff like when we were trying to work with the intentional color bleeding and the halloween water marble although i'm i'm gonna have to edit that soon if i want it like you know to be up for halloween and i was looking at it the other day and it actually did turn out pretty well like there's there's nothing wrong with that water marble it just it didn't quite it wasn't quite as dramatic as the testing and possibly that's my fault for switching cups and not just using the cup that i was testing in even after having learned that lesson before because who knows what small thing changes when you change cups okay Got like a couple bubbles here did that also get like a little ripple in the side well, let's see if it stays or gets worse or something. <sighs> Itchy? Are you allergic to gel music, Gal? Butchy. <laughs> Why so butchy? And Bainey's still hanging in here with us. Should I? I should get him a different color blanket, shouldn't I, you guys? Like, he really likes the brown one, but he's practically invisible. Yeah, smells undercured. Weird ripples again. Both of these. Well, I mean, I'm not redoing them. I can't tell if that's more rippling or if it's just left over from the first one. And then right there on the side of the ring finger, too. All right, Sparkly, thanks for popping in. Have a great rest of your day. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Why are you touching me, human? All right, just a little bit of extra for that. Okay, so then we decided, so gel polish, most gel polishes have like a uh, tacky layer. I don't want the tacky layer to mess with the adhesive with tacky layer. I feel like the tacky layer is a variable stickiness. I have done tests where the tacky layer will pull up foils. And then when I've tried to do a manicure using the tacky layer to do the foils, then it was a fail. So we're just going to wipe off the tacky layer with a, a paper towel with alcohol. I wonder, is there other stuff you could use? Like, could you use like non acetone polish remover for this? Or does it have to be alcohol? Oh no. Oh, that sucks, Musical. Like you're trying to get rid of them and they're like, ha, we're going to have our last revenge. <gasps> the fuck? Like, what, what just happened here? I don't know enough about gel to understand what happened here. Why did this not? I mean, I'm moving along because it's the right hand and I don't care that much about the right hand and I'm sorry, right hand. We're going to fix it when we do the touch-ups, but like literally, apparently that was a curing issue. Today I learned. Yeah, I didn't shake it, but we sat here and we rolled it all around. Um, Maybe I had my hand a little bit like that in the lamp 
and the lamp is on the top and I need to be more careful to like be flat camera please focus <sighs> okay so the plan right now is to ignore that and pretend it didn't happen and fix it when we go back for the touch-ups yeah or that too yeah I yeah because we were talking about like I don't even know like how does mixing with gel polish work and somebody was like I don't remember who I'm sorry that it does separate so I was like well, okay we'll roll it around a little bit but this is weird yeah that's weird we're gonna move on though I mean realistically I'm not gonna have this on that long because it's super cute but I mean I don't know I don't keep stuff I love on for a long long time and I don't know that I love love this yeah this is still of course because it's Joe like I guess it is like not quite as nice as when I first put it out Oh, there's that sneeze. Oh, that's been coming for like an hour. I'm gonna get a little bit more just cause, just cause. Like literally just cause. <laughs> Not really. Like it's got mirrors. Can you guys see? So like all the lights are up here and then like the sides, wait, what am I doing here? Are like mirrored and the bottom is like mirrored and the back is like mirrored. But yeah, all the lights are at the side or at the top. Th that's one of the differences. Like if you're wondering, like if you're looking into gels and you're considering lamps and stuff like that's one of the things like this is a pretty low, I would say this is like a low to mid range, but like the lower end of mid range lamp like and it's also the reason like why I don't do my thumbs at the same time because you know if your hand is flat and your these nails are up and then the thumb is pointing to the side and then when it's in here and the nails are getting the full thing of the thing and then the thumb is like on the side so if if I were to upgrade my lamp I would get one that is slightly bigger slightly more room for your hand and nails like all the way like a arc <laughs> hope you weren't planning on doing anything amethyst okay let's uh try not to fuck up faces painting left-handed i'm not gonna worry about it too much because we know we're gonna come back and do like touch up but we also don't just want to like fuck it off because that would just make unnecessary work for ourselves Um, why did I do the mouth first instead of the eyes and stuff? Now I'm not sure if I have room for the nose. Keep the nose smallish. Keep the eyes smallish. Cause, I mean, this is the pinky. The pinky is the hardest. It's so small. So small. Okay, that one looks really scary and we're going to have to do a lot of cleanup work on him but that's okay okay eyeball eyeball nose mouth all right oh boy my left hand is not steady it's okay though you do not always need a steady hand for nail art although it does help but like it's it's fixable. It's it's deal withable, as I say. <laughs> hey, dorky digits. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's possible, but I mean, all I had was a uh, was the peel off base on this hand, and it it's had a whole hand's worth of nail art to dry. If I were if if that were the case, I would expect to have the problem on the first hand, since that's like the hand that has less drawing time for the base because I do think about that when I use the base the peel off base with the gel because the peel off base is not actually gel but it's going under the gel um yeah I just that was weird okay this mouth is weird that's what's weird <laughs> 
Okay. We'll leave that. I know it's really hard for you guys to see. You just get like this glossy suggestion on top of this matte background. That's one of those things to me, son, that it's like, oh, I can easily do that while I'm watching stream. And then I get like way more invested in stream than I need to be. And like whatever I was supposed to be doing on the side, like doesn't get done. Yeah, the, these faces are going to require a lot of cleanup. So we're just going to accept that. I think try to accept that and hope we can do a decent job on the cleanup hey that mouth's not so bad <clears throat> Yes, that would be rude. Can't be rude to the cats or they'll kill you. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> laughing but very serious. No, not all cats are assholes. People are like, your cat will murder you and eat your flesh from your dead corpse. Like, well, if you're not there to feed them, what do you expect? <laughs> But it's not like your cat is actually planning your murder. Okay. No, that mouth needs a little bit more. Okay. So we're just about done here. We'll cure this. And then we'll come back and do the fun part. Why are you making sounds? We'll do the fun part, which is the foil part. Yeah, you know, I think I, I bet I did have my hand in here slightly crooked. I'm really being careful to keep it level in here right now. We'll do the foil part and then we'll do the cleanup part. And then we'll do the thumbs. Which won't, which probably won't take too long. But yeah, I do both thumbs together so that I can make sure that they are in there flatly. Yes, I am adding the teeth during the cleanup. That's also, I don't, I, you might have not been here. I was thinking about doing eyeballs also during the cleanup, like getting a dotting tool or whatever, but I didn't want to diminish the foil. The teeth, like some of the teeth turned, like uh, these teeth, I feel like those teeth turned out pretty good. This teeth, he's kind of got like a big old chunk of teeth over here. Like a chunk. <laughs> They're cute though. They look like kids carved them. <laughs> okay so let's actually get a little bit more of this for cleaning purposes let's get a little bit more black out just because like I actually do need more black and carefully oh wait what am I doing I haven't even applied the foil yet I can't start doing cleanup on foil I haven't applied yet Derp. um We'll just, we'll see how these go. We're gonna just like apply the whole thing. Which one of these is the clean one? Maybe this one? Rub, 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 rub. Back and forth, up and down. Could have used this opportunity to get the silicone tools out, but I didn't. And then we got a face. <laughs> we got a face in here too. That looks creepy. Okay. So we'll put this one right here. Oh. Oh. Got some of this mouth down here that didn't really stick. There, that's a little better. Got some in the eyeballs too. We can go back. Like, see how this is like not, that one was not a really clean transfer camera. Of course it doesn't want to show. Oh, like for just a second. And you see how these are like actually taking up more room on the foil 
than how I was doing it the first time, but I think it's still, it'll be fine. Um, yeah, we'll do like this for this one. Rub, 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 back and forth. That was pretty good. And then for this one, we'll go kind of, we'll do, I might need to get the other foil. I've got, I've got another piece still, but we can do the mouth with this little corner. like that and then we've still got this piece which we're also going to need for the thumb so we can't like use too much of it but we can use a little bit we can use this little part here yeah that'll be enough for the thumbs and then i'll just use this to go back in a couple places where i see little places that are still shiny which means they should still be sticky like right you can see there's a little slit in that eye there which might be a spot that got like a little bit of a wrinkle that's better or like this see right there on the side of the mouth we got a little bit of glossy stickiness left um I can get like right there. Rub, rub, rub. Got it. Kind of the same on this corner of the mouth. Oh, that I didn't even need to rub. I just needed to press a little bit. And maybe this one too, like that. Okay. There's our uncleaned up faces so you can really kind of see <laughs> you know camera oh come on camera please camera <sighs> oh you know uncleaned up versus cleaned up Kind of just like suggestions of features versus actually like pumpkin-y triangles. Oh. What did you have for dinner? I don't, I don't, I can't really remember last time carving a pumpkin. Like sometimes we'll have like whole pumpkins around. For autumn interest. Okay, so... Let's carefully, all right, like I said, clean up the bottom first. Oh boy. Bottom, sides and middle. Yeah, this is kind of a test of your hand steadiness. But just remember, you don't have to like be speedy at this. Like I'm going as slow as I possibly can get away with. Same for the nose. I'm not sure if, if even using stencils too would necessarily completely eliminate the need for this. Because, well, number one, stencils are, stencils can be, maybe I should say, a little bit jank. Stick a tooth right there. Um, and number two, because, like, the gel adhesive. <laughs> Excuse me. The gel adhesive, um, like, is a little bit thick. 
so put another little tooth coming down from right here i kind of look at like where the mouth has already got some weird shapes happening and then kind of try to put the tooth like in an area to minimize that um so like once you paint it on or once you were to do it with a with a stencil the jet the the foil doesn't just stick on top of the gel adhesive it sticks on the side of the gel adhesive if you know what I mean um so it you don't you get a less precise design because of that okay so yeah this is actually not too bad and of course like this is something that's like not exclusive to working with foil if you ever feel like you need to touch up or do a little bit of polish surgery after nail art there's like nothing wrong with that clean up that little I don't know how you got there and then yeah this mouth is really weird maybe like a tooth a tooth here and then like kind of edit that corner of the mouth and then like clean up the bottom here side and like I kind of try to get the corner of the mouth like to to a point not like a pointy point but like a smiley point where else do we need maybe like right here this is like the buck tooth the buck tooth jack-o-lantern <clears throat> Thank you, and hello, Angel. Oak leaves and acorns, I feel like, would be nice. Like a very, very fall and mellow and relaxing. I might have missed a little bit of, of chat, too, while I was sitting there. Oh, you mean, you mean in a... I'm thinking nail art. In a pumpkin? Oh, my God. That's so cool. They also sell like stencils now, which I both approve of and consider cheating. <laughs> Kids nowadays don't understand having to draw your own goddamn jack lantern face. Okay, so this one is kind of rough. Let's just try to make it as nice as possible. And then we're going to fill in these edges, too. See, he almost looks like there's a couple gaps there. Like, the gaps almost line up to be eyeballs for that face. I've got, like, a couple just little weird wild hairs on this brush, too, that are kind of annoying. Of course, this is not... I don't usually have any problem cleaning gel polish out of my brushes, but... I also feel not inclined to use my nicer brushes for gel polish. Oh, you do your own stencils. That is also a good idea. And like something that I probably could have done as a kid, except like it just wasn't an idea that was like um, spread around, I guess. I mean, there was no internet to look up good ideas when I was a kid. A kid kid. A pumpkin carving age kid. I think I'd have been all over that. Like, ooh, I want to make my own pumpkin stencils. Okay. Clean up this side. Stick another tooth right there, I think. And then fill in the side here all right pinky and then the thumbs 
it together with my butt. <laughs> mm. Oh, good luck, Amethyst. I feel like another sneeze is imminent. Just so I don't like scare anybody with my with my extreme sneezing. Okay. Clean up the triangles. Get the side. And then this hand will be ready for curing in top coat. Okay. Weird little strange mouth. And a weird side thing too. This is so goofy. And where's your tooth gonna go? Maybe right there. Yeah, you just get one tooth. Is this side covered up enough? Yeah, I guess so. That's not too bad. This side is like overall, you know what, you do need another tooth. This side is overall a little bit rougher than the other hand, but for free handing on my non-dominant hand, I think it's pretty good. All right, hold the nails straight in the LED light. So son, dinner ideas. Have you been good or bad this week? <laughs> Like, do we need to suggest you salad or can we suggest you nachos? Or uh, wherever it is that has the, the shakes that you prefer for race night snacks. I am pretty sure that if I were not streaming, Bean would be happily in my lap. Would you like some snugs, Bean? Say, oh, I'm having my own snugs right here. Five Guys. Now, we discussed this last time also, didn't we? That Five Guys was a pretty good option. Okay. Top coat should smooth everything out. Still got, like, some little weird... Like, I was really trying to be careful. Like, just weird dimply stuff here. I think it's cured, but I can almost guarantee this will be the first nail to pop off. I, I don't think we're salvaging that that much. Of course, I could be wrong. Maybe we'll do this. We'll seal it all in with top coat and everything will be fine. Can you see the little... It's like a little dimple on the side. Yeah. Meh. I think this one was slightly a more successful repair. <clears throat> Poke? Is that like, uh, I want to say that's something with tuna? And I think there is an accent, or I'm wrong. Either is probably equally likely. <laughs> the heck was that sound? Okay. The thumb shouldn't take too long, because obviously it's only the two of them. Yeah, this is going really well. What time is it? 5.39. I think we'll actually finish by 6 o'clock, you guys. Oh, my God. Would that just be... Wait a minute. 30, not 60. Right? Hot. Hot, 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 hot. Hot, 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 hot. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. 
You guys know, my South Park fans know. <laughs> Unrelated. Wait, not even saw will change what you heard the other day. What did you hear? What? Was it something I said? Oh, La Butna. <laughs> lasagna is good. If if you have a good place for lasagna. So there this is you know, this one turned out really good. I I like I like like the angles of the eye triangles. Yeah, I think this manicure is a fucking win. Oh my God, same nail again. I don't glued myself together. Now we're going to have another thing here that we have to deal with. And I mean, I just try to like gently like pull the skin away and then like file it a little bit. Where'd the file go? Mmm, orange chicken. Now I'm, I'm actually going to have time to like be able to decide what I want for dinner and not just like forced into eating something quick. Like, do I want to fuck around and make nachos? Which done right is a, is an endeavor. Or do I want to like run out and get my prescriptions that I was going to get on like Tuesday or Wednesday, except then one of my prescriptions was back ordered. So of course I'm not going to go and pick up two. And then the third one comes in several days later, except then the third one came in and it wasn't a convenient time to go get it. Now they're still sitting there at the pharmacy and I should probably go pick them up. Except wait a minute. I think the pharmacy probably closes at six. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> if anybody followed that. All right, so it's oh, like a little bit too much polish. That's always so annoying, though. Like when some of your prescriptions are ready, but then the others aren't, and then like it just fucks up your whole plans of when you were gonna go pick things up. Like I feel like in most cases, like there's no excuse for that. Like I get this medication every month. It's for my asthma. I'm sure the other people that are getting it from you get it every month for their asthma. Sure, there's maybe a few people a month starting new or not taking it anymore. But how come you don't have enough? Why did you not order an appropriate amount for your people that you know are going to get it every fucking month? Walgreens. <clears throat> um. Hi, sleepyhead. Who's such a sleepy bean? He really is. I don't know why. I mean, it is chilly, but like this is the time of day where he likes to, you know, mess with Clark and invite Clark to mess with him. Like, Beanie is such an instigator. BBQ chicken fried apples and broccoli. Whoa. Yeah, not all sushi is raw. I'm not too cool on most raw fish either, but I have had it a couple times where it's like, okay. But then also there's like the, you know, do I like the taste? Do I trust raw fish in Minnesota? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. More, maybe more likely a thing I would enjoy when I'm like somewhere that's closer to a place where you can get these type of fish like by an ocean um okay did i just miss that section or do we have something else weird going on there i might have just missed that i'm, I'm just paranoid now i also wonder about things like because of the order that I, you know, do my gel nails, like the four, four, the four nails on my left hand, the four nails on my right hand, and then the two thumbs together, like, did I accidentally touch something? Did I get some kind of residue, like, on that nail or on that top coat to where the gel polish now doesn't want to adhere? Or is it more just like a my application issue, which is usually, I think what it comes down to because I'm just I don't have that much experience with gel still I mean I have yet to actually empty a gel bottle I think I have two I have two things the pink shellac top coat but that's because I actually use that for 
a, uh, a chrome FAQ and swatching video. So I used a bunch of it like not, not on my nails. Yeah, and that's that's what they said last time too, but it's like, okay, same to the supplier. Like, you know how many people take this. I don't know. Irritating. I'm just glad they got it faster than they got it last time because last time it was like over a week or so. Yeah, I'm going to give this just like 10 more seconds. The second coat of black on everything has gotten like 10 more seconds just to be on the safe side. Oh yeah, kids go back to school and get back on their, on their medicine. <laughs> That's pretty weird. Okay, so once again, so there's like, you can even see can you see my fingerprint there or at least that like big smudgy area like that's the the sticky layer they were getting rid of here oh bye bean get that little bit of residue and then it turns it matte also which doesn't matter because we're adding top coat i suppose i don't know like how if you were just to leave it like that like how that would wear um like would it get less matte as you wore it I mean, I think usually you want to add a top coat with, with gel polish. So I don't know if that would be like a, a plan if you wanted a, a matte look rather than getting like a matte gel polish. I don't know. A burger. A burger sounds good as hell. I wonder if I'd have time to run out and grab a burger. All right, so we got like a lot of room here, but we're still just gonna try and keep it reasonable size. Give ourselves some little markers. And then, you know, this, this one might actually be one of the more easy ones for you guys to see what I'm doing with the gel adhesive. I mean, not that you can't tell once I've applied the foil, but like as I'm actually doing this step, I feel like this is a good angle. And we'll do the nose. And I'm not like overly worried if the mouth and nose or nose and, or eyes and nose or mouth and nose get like too close because the, uh, the touch up worked supremely well, which I'm glad of. So don't really have to worry about that. That was a large crash. Mm. I mean, this would be cool to do like ghost faces ghost faces would be even easier imagine like two kind of like lopsided -y oval eyeballs and then like a woo mouth type of a thing okay this feels like the hardest one because doing like freehand on my right thumb just feels like a weird angle like, it's weird in how I have to hold the brush. It's weird in how I have to hold my finger. I feel very awkward and uncomfortable right now, but... It's fine, because we're almost done. And it's poor little right thumb, so, you know. They always get the short end of the nail art stick. Okay. Like that. Maybe make that just a little bit bigger. Okay. Get these in here. <clears throat> they won't deliver shakes. Why the hell not? Oh, I've got a little fuzz look on that finger. I can see it. Hey, Karen. Welcome on in. You are here just in time for the finale of foil application. Applying foils is honestly so fun when it goes properly. 
like going from you know like this invisible thing that you've painted on to like this amazing foil that sticks on hey daikini welcome we are uh patiently waiting or not so patiently waiting we're waiting we are waiting okay why does this third okay i was gonna say why does this 30 seconds seem like it goes by so fast and then the 60 seconds is like years later okay so this is our last good piece of foil so we need to be kind of mindful of where we're sticking it i think i'm just gonna go for it and then maybe the other one i'll do in a couple applications so rub 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 he needs lots of cleanup he'll be good though and then okay we've got this much left here so let's we'll do the mouth on this little part over here oh my goodness my stomach rub 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 and then the last little corner will do oh see can you guys see how there's just like that little like not shiny on the nose anymore like i just barely grazed it with the q-tip i should have got out my silicone tools let's see if it'll still get the foil welcome back baby you go have some food yum yum hello It came out like nostrils. Please camera focus. I wonder if I just like re like really oh there we go. Okay, I covered it up. Okay, you can't see, but you can see that the orange is solidly in the nose now. Maybe give one more good press on this mouth also. Okay, so final touch ups. <clears throat> what made the nostril holes musical or something else? Okay, so. Like just the one thing is to make sure that it's like thick enough that it's opaque but it actually like there are a couple places where it did turn out like a little bit more transparent and it didn't look bad like it kind of just added to the glowy interpretation of it okay Hmm. camera okay there do the same for the nose I'm hoping I won't have to put out any more black there's like only a little bit of black left out mm-hmm <laughs> They were weird. Well, cause it looked they looked like like human nostrils rather than like jack o' lantern nostrils. So it was weird. Okay, we're definitely putting a tooth there, cause that's weird. Okay, and where else? Like. Maybe you need three teeth. We could put a tooth right there. And then one coming up from the bottom, like right here. Okay. Now for this one. Clean up these bottoms. Sides. 
Middles. Sorry, it's a weird angle. Uh, sign. Um, yeah, that's okay. The nose. Like his nose is weird. Okay, your nose is okay. Can't that's not okay. We're going to use a little bit of alcohol and try to clean that off because that's not okay. Okay, that's better ish. Um and then the mouth. You'll go you're gonna have a tooth right in the middle. And then try to clean up the mouth. Like that. <sighs> okay. Mouth got a little bit weird. We're we're rolling with it. We're gonna put in another tooth here. The nose got a little bit weird too. I think I might have used like a little bit too much alcohol to try and clean that up. Poor little right thumb, you guys. Poor little right thumb. He's fine. He's fine. He's got a wonky nose. He's fine. Okay. We're almost done. I feel like this went really fast, but it was also kind of like tense because there was so much freehand. There was like the freehanding and then there was like the covering up of the, or the, the correcting of the freehanding. Which, like I said, I think pa partly was due to, like, my not super neat freehand, but also partly is just due to the way that, like, the gel adhesive works. Okay, so... Top coat. Yeah, I mean, maybe they have to... They don't have, like, cooled thingies. Um... Uh, not like bags, but like, you know, some kind of insulated cooler. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like these, these jack-o'-lanterns would talk in Mr. Hanky's voice. Heidi ho and happy Halloween, everybody. Yeah, okay, you you know, your nose is weird, but you're fine. You're fine. Your mouth is weird, too. This is the drunk pumpkin. <laughs> Poor drunk pumpkin. Ooh, that top coat's a little thick. I need to be better. The Madame Glam top coat in general feels thicker than, like, the pink chillac one, and I, like, try to be mindful of that as I'm applying it, but... A lot of times I do get a little bit of a heat spike with the top coat. Yeah, it's kind of like of a face. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that, that, you know, that's the type of stuff that like annoys me because it's like inconsistent. It's like, why you all know not the same restaurants, please? Um, all this food talk. I'm like, what am I going to cook? Um, we got, okay, so it's like just about almost six o'clock. We're super, super on time. Oh my God. And, uh, race starts around eight ish. Heavy on, heavy on the ish, heavier some weeks than others. Yeah. He's just a little crooked. Yeah. This one I really like. This one I really like. I mean, they're all good. 
Okay, this is like such a good outcome because they're like not identical, but they're like all recognizably jack-o'-lanterns. Zoom, focus, camera, please. Okay, let's turn off the autofocus. There we go. Boo! Should we have had a boo on one nail? No, it's too it's too late to have these second thoughts. Mm. Yeah, well, so in those two hours, I have to... Okay, let's close this, number one. Like, let's not forget that open. Got to clean up the desk area, at least-ish. I wonder if I'll be able to pop this off if I cure it. Let's stick it in there and see. Um, clean up the desk area, record intro and outro, take pictures, cook food, eat food, get set up for gaming. Like, it seems like it should be plenty of time, but I always find myself like, holy crap, this is not enough time. I am absolutely not athletes. <laughs> If these make it to Wednesday, I'll be pretty happy. Because we had some issues. We had some little weird issues. All right, make sure to get this brush nice and clean. I'm so happy with how these turned out, though. Like, they, they look like they're glowing from within, and, like, that was the plan. So, all weird issues aside, and, I mean, like, this, this pinky like it's just gnarly oh well oh well <laughs> yay grubhub hey niecy yes i love i love how these turn oh, you know what else i could show i could do do i have uh oh, i've got to have one here i thought i had okay here's one Is this one all dirty and gross okay excuse the beanie hairs there is that a little easier to see like just a little bit um where's the flashlight too i wonder yeah you can't really appreciate the hollow no that was that was a that was a non-proper thing they're, they're even cooler in person because you get a little bit more of the depth of the foils. But I, I love how glowy they're looking. I'm very pleased with that. Let me see if I can find somewhere to send you guys. Um, until later, of course, if you uh, have not already, please feel free to join my Discord. It's a cool place filled with cool people and cool pictures and all kinds of cool things. It's cool. Um... What do we got going on here? I really have to go to the bathroom now to you guys because, like, of course I do. Oh, the community, the community bingo is going. Um, oh, Squid's final race is going. I'd like, I feel like I should raid him, but of course he's racing, so it doesn't really matter. I need to probably check that out, though. Um,. Do you guys want, thank you, Tex. Thank you, everybody. Did I say that already? Probably. You guys want some glass or you want some Hollow Knight? Maybe I'll give you guys some glass because you're going to have Hollow Knight here later anyway. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for popping in pancakes. And pre thank you for planning our evening festivities. Thanks, Wesker. Thanks, everybody. Everybody, I'm, this was, I feel like this was a good stream and it like super makes me happy because I had a couple streams that I was like not happy with. Aside from that moment where like the stream died and I panicked, like I feel like everything went pretty well. Didn't plan anything. Well, you got two hours, pancakes. <laughs> um, let me get this raid going. Wait, not exclamation, slash. Yeah, so, no, okay, come on, Twitch, just, can you just do the thing? Um, yeah, thank you all so much for hanging out. I'm gonna go do all those things I just said, clean up, intro, outro, pictures, food, eat, come back here, stream some more adult beverages. Um, and of course, um, I know Ash is in, Pancakes is in, Luke is in, I think Dapper said he was in, 
Uh, a lot of the usual crew going to be there to hang out tonight. It gets a little crazy. I've heard that it's highly entertaining. And I hope that I will see you guys there. But whether I do or not, I hope you have a lovely uh, evening, afternoon, morning, whatever time it happens to be for you. And thanks for watching. Go see Toby. Bill McCracken slipped under JF Sweeney's taint and. <laughs> Colette, how are you? Colette, I'm telling a terrible story right now. He always is telling a terrible oh, good, story right when I come in. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Oh my nice. god. It's cute, right? Yeah, let's let's talk about taints, of course. Why wouldn't we be talking about taints in a glass blowing hey, stream? Thank you very much for that follow. Come YouTube. On, thank you very much for that host. <laughs> Hello. Thank, thank you all you, for watching you. as well. I hope you enjoyed. I just like Subscribe to deeply, so My Simple I'm Little Pleasures for version. more nail art if you want to see the edited version of this tutorial. Yeah, I, and I like if you'd so like to, to come hang out choice. live, you can come follow at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP. And thank you for watching. Um, I'm not sure.